belonging is appendages. And I think it's called the pitch, but the pitch of the room is 40 degrees. I might be completely wrong there, but if you know the difference, please add a comment. But this is the room. Okay, like that. And I want to know, as the builder, I want to know the loft height. Well, using socket I know you can that. So the information I have available to me is 40 degrees there, and 10 degrees there, 10 meters there, and the fact it is a right angle. Okay, now with all of these types of questions, the important thing is, is to make sure that you label the right angle triangle correctly. What I mean by that is that the 40 degree angle that we're going to be working with, well, this height here is called the opposite. This length along here, which is adjacent to the 40 degrees, is called the adjacent. And the long length is called the hypotenuse, which is the range y hypotenuse. Okay, so 40 degrees here we know, and 10 meters here that we know. So if we look at these relationships, um, the information that we're trying to get is, is the opposite. Well, it means that we might use the sine or the tangent, because we both the sine and the tangent have the opposite bit within them, which means that we're able to calculate. However, only the sine has got the hypotenuse, which is there. So, in this particular um, question, I'm going to start using this relationship, which is the sine of the rule. So, the sine of 40 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is this relationship. So, if I now put in some numbers, I've got sine 40 degrees equals Opposite, which I don't know, it's the bit I'm trying to find. So opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is 10, 10 meters. Okay. So if you look at uh, some of the other videos, you'll see that when you have a relationship like this, using a little bit of algebraic manipulation, it means we can isolate the opposite to one side and the calculation to the other. So, what I'm going to do with this relationship is I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. Now, if I multiply both sides by 10, it means that the division of 10 and the multiplication of 10 will cancel themselves out. So, on this side, I'm going to be left with the opposite, which is the information that I'm looking for. And on the other side, I've got 10 times the sine of 40 degrees. Okay, now I can use, I can get uh, that information from the calculator, and providing I key in the numbers correctly, I should get, and I'm going to have to refer to my notes here, but I should get 6.4287, uh, I think that's correct, yeah, 42787, okay, 42787. And it goes on a little bit as well. Okay. Now, the thing to look at is that if that information is 6.4, let's say 6.4 to one decimal place, is 6.4 metres as a value of the opposite realistic or reasonable? And if we look at the diagram, well, yes, it probably is, because if this distance along here is 10 metres, that it seems fairly reasonable that this distance along here will actually be 6.4 meters. Okay. So I think when you're using these sorts of relationships, it's always a good idea to refer back to the original question and make sure that you've got a reasonable answer at 6.4 meters. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do um, comment 
uh, comments at the bottom of the video. Uh, we will try very hard to respond. Uh, you can also post the video and tweet, uh, and you can visit matteran.co.uk for a lot more information. There's also a download of the worksheets on this particular uh, type of mat. Um, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next week. Alright, so that may look really easy, right? It is. So I'll do the next one where he shows you how to find an angle and then we'll do the next one. Okay, so we have 
This bit at the moment is the opposite to the angle that we're looking to calculate. The last thing that we need to uh, label is that the line along the bottom here is adjacent to the line. So I'm going to call that ADJ, adjacent to the angle. Okay, so as with uh, all soccer tower type questions, if you label them correctly, then really it's just a case of having a look at the formula and putting the correct numbers in place and then using the calculator to calculate your final answer. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I've got a JSON here and I've got a value. I've got a value of hypotenuse and I haven't got a value of opposite. So what I do is I look along my Sokotoa line and I look for those values that I have. Alright, so I know I've got a J, so I know I've got a hypotenuse. So if I look along here, this is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, I've got hypotenuse, but I haven't got opposite. Um, if I look at here, which is cosine, I've got the adjacent, which is this one here, and I've got the hypotenuse value, which is this one here. So that's excellent. That means then that I can use the cosine of angle X in order to, uh, to calculate this angle. Okay, so I'm going to write it out as cosine equals adjacent over um, hypotenuse. I hope I spelled this I hope I spelled this correctly, but if I haven't, please uh, forgive me. It's quite difficult on the video, but I hope I have. It's hypotenuse. Wrong. Hypotenuse. I think that's right. Okay, if it's not, then um, I'll have to shoot the video all over again. <laughs> okay, um, so cosine equals adjacent of hypotenuse. Right, so what I've got here is there's x degrees, so I've got the cosine of x degrees equals the adjacent, which is 3.9, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 4.7. Okay, so that will allow me then to find out the value of the cosine of the um, x degrees. Okay, this is where it gets just a little bit tricky and something that you need to be aware of, is that we need to use what's called the inverse trigonometric ratio. Um, <laughs> What that means is, on your calculator, it's actually cosine to the power of minus 1. Um, there is a, a reason behind all of this, and again, if you have a look at this site, then there is a posting that deals with this. Um, but, for the purposes of this particular video, what we need to do is put this information into a calculator in a slightly different way. And the way that we do that is we calculate um, cosine to the power of minus 1, and then brackets 3.9 divided by 4.7. Okay. Now, if we did that and push that into the calculator, then that will give us the value of x degrees. And actually, the value of x degrees that I have, I'm just referring to my notes, will be um, 33.923 one, one, two. So that's the angle of X. And I think for the purposes of most uh, questions at this sort of level, they will ask you to do it to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, the value of X, X degrees, will equal 33.9 degrees. Okay, and that will be the answer to this particular question. Uh, I hope that's been okay for you. Uh, please do have a look at the, uh, the MathRap site or have a look at the YouTube channel. There, are, there is a playlist on trigonometric ratios, um, and you'll be able to have a look at those. And you'll be able to download some, a worksheet from mathsrap.co.uk to have a go at some of these questions for yourself. Uh, please do post, pin, tweet uh, this particular video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, I think, by pressing the button at the top there. Um, or you can add a comment below. Uh, we'll get back to you.
Don't drop. Thank 
Is that right or is that right? It's not an awesome in there, it's just the one drop in there. You know the one that can smell the difference? This would reckon it's all about one. 22 degrees, 29 degrees. Oh, like which one are we going to do? 25? 22 degrees and 0.49. This we are right. We are right. Sean? Please. Are we finding the other leader? Just clearly don't want to write. It's kind of old. Yeah, well, 22.5 is rounded off. You didn't tell us to round it off. Um, find the result. Yeah, so round it off. Find the result. Yeah, but we were right. You just didn't round it off. We should have. Thank you. 